Hi everyone, so today we are going to be talking about horses that are on my wish list. So, I did not do a shopping spree on Star Stable this year for Christmas. I wanted to, but then I didn't want to get star coins and I don't know if I'll ever get them again. I do want to get some in the future, but there's no point in me buying star coins for new horses if I haven't even trained the other horses I have. So hypothetically, if I do get more star coins, these are the horses that I want to get. So let's just get into it. So let's talk about the paint horses. I want to get like four different paint horses, the dapple gray, the gray dun, I think it is, the black and white, paint horse and of course the one that's on the app as well. I just really like them. I really like the paint horse. They're pretty. Also, I want to get Andalusian horses. I don't really like, they're not my favorite, but I do like the model. Like I think they're pretty. Their coat colors are nice. So I want the black Andalusian as well as the dapple gray and the, I think it's a steel gray. They're just really pretty. The only Appaloosa I could think of getting would be the, I think the one on the app. There is a few of them that I kind of want besides that, but I don't really know because I like the Appaloosa model. I just don't like Appaloosa coat colors. Like for me, it's just so much to look at. Like I'm a, I'm a fan of basic horses. I just love how basic some horses look. I also want to get some Arabians. Like, I don't really... I'm not a big fan of Arabian horses. I love the model, though, and I would like to get the Dapple Grey, the Palomino, the Flaxen, like the, the Strawberry Roan one, and the Chestnut, but I'm not really sure. But I do want the Dapple Grey Arabian because it reminds me of my old... English Therabred that was Dapple Grey. Now, I would just get the English Therabred that's Dapple Grey, but, like, I don't like that one, so I'll get the Arabian instead. I'm a really big fan of the Finn Horse, so I think I'll probably eventually get the Palomino, the Chestnut, the Flaxen, and the other one as well. I don't know the color. There's a few Icelandic horses I want as well, like the Light Grey Icelandic, and a few other colors like the black and white, the brown and white with the black mane, the bay. And if I had to get more Yorvik Wilds, I would get the Palomino as well as Ember Mane. Also, like the Lusitana horse, however you say it, it's kind of out of style. But if I was to, like, not out of style, but it's like outdated a little bit, like, it still has Gen 2 main styles. You know, like, it wasn't really, it's not, it's like Gen 2.5, which I've heard a lot of people say, but if I was to get more of them, I would get the Black Lusitano. I don't like the white markings on it. It's so, I don't like it. I'd rather have a pure black horse, but whatever. I want the Perlino one from the app or the Cremello, whatever it's called. I also want the Bay. I don't like it of the white markings but i do like the model it's pretty also i found out recently that star stable added like a fjord to the app which i didn't know but i want it and if i was to get more pasifino horses i would get the dapple gray as well as the chestnut there might be more colors i'm not really sure and I do love the Shires. I want the App Shire, the Chestnut Shire, the regular, like, brown Shire, and the gray Shire. I want the black and white Irish Cobb as well as the light gray, and I like the black Irish Cobb with the white on him with, like, the tinted mane. I don't like that color usually, but it's really pretty on this model. I also really like the Palomino. I also don't like buckskin with white markings, but the Icelandic, sorry, the uh, I, the Irish Cobb, so pretty. And I want to get the Halloween Jorvik Wild if I'm able to change the mane. 
because I would love this horse to have the spiky mane that Ember Mane has, but they didn't give it to this one, so I don't really want it. Yeah, there's a few Pasifinos I might want, like for example, the the brown one. It's kind of pretty. There's one on the app. I don't think I'd ever want that. There's a buckskin as well. Don't know if I want that one ever, but it's cute. And of course, I would get the brown Belgian warm blood. I would probably get the one without white markings, but I might also get the one that does have white markings just because it reminds me of an old horse I used to have. And of course, the Tennessee Walkers. I want the sooty buckskin. That one is stunning. I want the strawberry roan, the blue roan, the black and white one, the black Tennessee Walking horse. I want the light gray as well, like the dapple gray. So almost all of them. And for Christmas next year, I might get white Passofino as well as the Icelandic horse, but don't really know. I just struggle with horses in the game that you can't change the mane. Like, I've already discussed this, I'm pretty sure, but like, people get so confused whenever I say, why do you want the horse to have no mane? I'm just saying, I hate when horses have really long manes. I want to chop them off so bad. I really do. I love when they have that, like, spiky mane or braids. It just looks so much more professional on riding horses that you use for shows. I kind of want to do like a wish list of horses every year around this time. Now, do I think I will get these horses? Don't really know. This list is like a total of 50 horses, you know, and if I was to get 50,000 star coins just to be able to afford these horses, it would cost... $350. $350. For real. And that's just, like, crazy. You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, if I wanted to get every single horse in this game that's, like, you know, Gen 3, that would cost me, like, nearly $2,000. Like, $1,800 about, you know? Like, it's pretty expensive. I didn't really realize it. I did a video this year about, like, how much money I spent on Star Stable over the years, and, like, I don't know how worth it it really is anymore, you know, because, like, that's a lot of money to spend on a game, you know? Like, if I want to get- because you ride the horse, you train it, and then you get a new horse after that. Which is fine. I mean, that's kind of how horse games are. You get a horse, you train it. You know, that's kind of how it is. But- it's just a lot of money for horses. I mean, they have the right to do that, obviously. But I don't know if I get the happiness out of it that makes it worth it, you know? Like, I feel like I'd be happier doing something else, honestly. But there isn't any other games to play that make me this happy. Because, like, I don't have nostalgia to these games that I do for other games, you know? Like, when I think of nostalgic games that make me happy, I think of Star Stable. Obviously, Star Stable isn't the same anymore. Honestly, Star Stable at this point is a remake of the other Star Stable we had before the new CEO came in. You know, like, we have Star Stable Season Riders, then we have Star Stable Online, and then we have Star Stable Online 2, pretty much, because they have a new owner, new CEO, new storyline, new everything. And it's like, yeah, I don't know if this game is really worth it for me to play so much, honestly, because I don't get happiness out of it. If anything, it stresses me out, which, like, we know it does, because, like, it's so much drama if, because it's so hard to play the game and be happy, because, like, for me, like, I'm okay playing the game and doing training, because I don't like the quests anymore. But it just, I don't think it's exciting enough for me to play anymore, because I don't have the same love for it, you know? Like, I'd probably be better off playing Animal Crossing, The Sims, maybe Planet Zoo, but I'm still gonna play the game forever. It just kind of sucks that, like, there's no point in me really buying horses unless if I have no other horses to train, which is, like, okay, you know? That's kind of how it always has been, even before 
they got a new owner. We still bought horses to train. And even when they had the really good storyline, I still did my own stuff for fun in the game, like fan fiction or whatever, because I want to control my own stories that I take part in. But yeah, I think I will start buying less star coins, honestly, because it's really expensive. And I could probably put money towards more, you know, important things like a book or like maybe a concert. 350 to get horses. That's like, you could go, you could go to a concert. You should literally go out. I don't know. Obviously spend money on what you want to spend money on. But if I was to get horses, I would get these horses. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Happy New Year. Bye.